Jacker didn't go off. No. <laughs> you will know our next guest is the yes. former star of Head and Shoulders ads. Please welcome <laughs> us. <laughs> Johnny Aloisi. Yeah. 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 I'm just on just to protect Santa because it's a yeah. Tony connection. Exactly. Oh. Hey, hey, don't mess with us. Yeah. Oh, don't mess with us. <laughs> this is what you're going to look like in about 80, <laughs> 80, 80 years' time. <laughs> I'm getting whacked tonight. I, know, I don't know what it's it is. Great anyway. to have you. Thanks it's, for, it's very thanks good to everyone at Shootout for letting you come across. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Did you hear him have a go at Shootout before? Oh, oh no, I didn't. Actually. Oh, he's starting a war. He's trying to start a Imagine war. Imagine that. What a war that would be. What a rivalry. John, John, now let's get straight into the Socceroos, okay? There's only uh, a month to go, really. There's yep. a month to go. Uh, what's happening? What what happens right now in in Socceroos camp? Is there a camp? What's happening? No, there's no there's no camp yet. Right. I think they're getting together on the 29th of December right. to start preparing their first games on the 9th. Then Ange hasn't penciled in any friendly games yet. Mm -hmm. um, he just wants a, a good training camp of 12 days with the group and to get him ready. And I think he will have him ready. He's mm -hmm. gone through a lot of plays in the last uh, six months. Uh, to see who's going to be right for the Asian Cup. And there'll be probably a couple of surprises at the end. I think Nathan Burns might... Uh, really? End up, really? Yeah, he's looking sharp. Talk and, about and, hitting form at the right time. Well, that's the, him. And I think you have to do that. As a coach, you have to select someone that's in really in good form because he could be the surprise come the Asian Cup. Interesting. What was your playing weight? It was 87 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> it was 87 kilos. What's your current weight? 89 kilos. Are you available? <laughs> Two cases, nothing. You can get that yeah, off by the no, 38 okay. days you've got. <laughs> Still um, can't run. OK. It is true. The Nathan Burns is an interesting case. Bernie Abini. Or, or, I mean, there's still players who are, who are still playing very well at the moment. When's the cut-off point, you reckon? When does Ange have to say, nah, this is this is who I'm looking at? Oh, I think you can leave right it right until the last minute. OK. Uh, I think the next three games in the A-League are the most important for these players mm. to, you know... That, they, if they're doing well, I think Angel pick him. Tommy Urich is another one. He's yeah. starting to hit form Ooh. at the right time. And uh, and I think Angel will go with the, the players that are playing and playing in form. He's always A league that. goalkeeper. Can an A league goalkeeper? Third, third choice. Oh, that's uh, I think that Vedran Yenetovic is yeah. the informed goalkeeper, and uh, Mr. Sydney oh. FC. He's saving a lot of one on ones. He's the reason why Sydney have been doing so well. Mm -hmm. um, and then look, we, we can't go past the, the keepers that are already there: Matt Ryan, Mitch Langerak. Uh, mm. But Mitch Langerak's not playing regular football, no. which is weird because Andrew's always on about regular football. But it seems that with Mitch Langerak, it doesn't matter because he keeps getting picked. You know, it's sort of almost it's an odd one, isn't it? But yeah. that's keepers, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's keepers, and plus he's a second choice keeper um, right. with, with the national team at the moment, yeah, and, right. okay. and second choice at Dortmund. So occasionally they'll put him in, they and he's, he's ready to go. Yeah, so he's used to that. Uh, do you want to talk? To, oh, John, are you enjoying uh, the, your new life as a, in, in the media? Are you uh, in commentating? Are you enjoying that? Oh, look, I enjoy talking about football. Yeah. I enjoy uh, analysing and... Uh, but not commentating? I mean, because you have done a bit of commentating as well. We did see you... Uh... Well, I, don't, I think that might be my last commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, is a, this is a Bentley Green. <laughs> I didn't think I would be at a football game in a scaffold. <laughs> and not just the scaffold, man. <laughs> at first I thought they were flares, but then I realised, I turned around and I saw the Sovlaki cooking. <laughs> I think there were too many Savlaki jokes so they'll never put me on again. Ah, oh, is that right? right. And you, you, I didn't want to show it to you, but you did keep pronouncing that Slovaki. <laughs> oh, you're talking about a country. <laughs> Just say because in Adelaide we used to call it Euros. Oh, oh no, so yeah, Slovaki is the way it comes out. Slovaki, yeah. Slovaki are the current uh, favourites for Eurovision next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Slovakia. Can I talk about Socceroos for a second? I just want to show you, talking about players in form, mm. Right, Matty Ryan has gone over to Belgium. He was goalkeeper of the year. He's just signed a new contract. He is the uh, number one. This was him during the week against Torino in the Europa League. This is just three of his saves wow. that got his team a, a nil-all draw. Uh, my question to you is, if I was to say, all right, let's build around three or four players. If I was to say, you guys are nailed on, everyone else we're going to try, who would you say are those three players? I, I would say Matty, he's definitely in. The go as goalkeeping position, that's his. Are there, are there three other players, outfielders, that you'd say... Let's build around these guys. Uh, well, that's a good question, and uh, I'm sure Ange has got in mind who he likes. I would say, yeah, Matty Ryan, uh, because he's a, the type of keeper that uh, he's the modern day keeper. He's, he's like the old libero uh, that yeah. now the keepers have to play like liberos and uh, yeah. and also make saves like that. Yep. And then I think Matthew Spiranovic. Okay. I think that he's one that we have to build around. Yep. Um, Mila Jednak, he might only be going for another three or four seasons, yep. but I think I still think he's important for us. While we go. Um, and as long as you get that spine right, I. 
the number 10 position, the attacking midfielder, is, is one that, uh, you know, is up for grabs still. If when... you had to say, though, if you, who is your front runner at the moment in that position? I would still play Mark Bresciano. Mm -hmm. I think Mark Bresciano, come Asian Cup, is still going to be important. Yeah. And Tim Carroll up front is still okay. going to be important. Yep. But then we've got young uh, attacking players like Troisi that are still going to be doing well. And then, you know, uh, Matthew Leckie, he, he scored again on the weekend. So he's I still been... like Robbie Cruz. I still think Robbie well, Cruz has got, when yeah. they find the right position, for him, I think he's got something. Well, Robbie Cruz is a bit unfortunate that um, he was, he spent a year out with his ACL injury, mm. and it takes another year to get back to the level he was playing at. So, if he can start playing regular football, then Robbie Cruz will be probably one of our main players. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's just staying with keepers, if, if you don't mind. I wanted to ask you what happened to Brad Jones in terms of because um, I remember when he was you know on the radar. Oh right, right. Is he yeah. any chance of uh, you know playing well, ever again? Yeah. Well, that's that's. Uh, there's something that to Mitch Langerak has to be careful of because if you're the number two for too long, mm. then it's it's hard then to play regular football. And he has been the number two at Liverpool for and a long time. Although Aminulay is in such bad form at the moment, he's a chance of playing uh, yeah. again soon. I think for Liverpool. But I think you were talking about motivation, <laughs> weren't you, Sam? You'd notice something with uh, Brad Jones. Well, yeah, because I, I was watching because uh, he's back up Liverpool at the moment. I yeah. was watching Liverpool versus QPR last week, and and Brad Jones was sitting on the bench behind mm. Brendan Rodgers. Now, yeah. as you know. I'm no expert. <laughs> <laughs> falling asleep is not the way. <laughs> falling asleep on the bench is not the way to get back in the team. Is that fair enough? He might have been meditating. Oh, oh, <laughs> can you, oh, oh I got a serious really question. Can you, give, can you give this whole country some hope as to a team that is ranked... What are we ranked at the moment? 102. Oh, we haven't checked. It's like a dart score at the moment, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But w w why is it magically just going to come together in January? Look, we performed really well at the World Cup. You know, the, the, the friendly games that Andrew's mentioned that he doesn't like the friendly games because you have to use so many players, a lot of subs that are used in the second right. half, so the game goes a little bit. I think that we have to put trust in Ange, our players. Happy yeah. to. And, and also, we're playing on home soil. The, you know, having the crowd behind People you. People have got to go, don't they? Go to the games. Yeah. The, the, and fill the joint. Yeah, and they you know will. I mean? the, the first game, January 9th, against Kuwait yeah. at Amy Park is going to be a sellout. The atmosphere is going to be incredible. Korea, that'll be massive yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, so I think playing at home will at least get to the semi-finals, and then you need a little bit of luck to go on and win it. And I think we can. We probably can't. We can't speak too much about soccer. I mean, we can speak a lot about soccer, but we'd be remiss if we don't talk a little bit about Melbourne City. Yeah. Okay, John. Now, you, you were obviously there for a while, and there were a few tough things said by Bozza and other people in the press over the week uh, about the team. Let's just talk about on-field stuff. Mm. What is the problem? Is, is it just consistency of no players? Strikers, what, 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 is, what, is what is going on? No, I, look what, uh, at the heart. I've been looking. Oh, well, I've been watching. You know, it's just, <laughs> nice. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah, since the beginning of the season, they played um, quite well in, in patches. You know, mm. that were, they've really dominated the opposition. Um, but there's going to be periods in a game that you have to be able to soak up a bit of pressure, mm. and they haven't been able to do that. I think defensively, as a team, they haven't been great. And it's obvious with the goals, but I've been mentioning it for quite a few weeks now. Uh, unless they uh, get that right, they won't win games. But, um, you know, I think going forward, they've Josh shown... Josh Kennedy arriving sooner rather than later. Let's hope he can get fit and yeah. provide that focal point for them. That seems like it's going to be a big deal. Yeah, and then you also got Corrin to come in. And uh, so you got Corrin yeah. and uh, Josh Kennedy that will make a big difference. And then the players around them will lift as well. Mm. Uh, so it's, you know... I'd, I can't really say what's going on within the club mm. because it's uh, a bit difficult and uh, and plus I was there. Uh, but I can say what's happening on the pitch and I think that, uh, you know, they need to be able to put... Uh, like they did against Brisbane Raw, mm. they defended well as a unit and they caught Brisbane on the break and really punished them. And uh, at the moment, that's the only game they've looked like winning. Mm. And they did. Interesting. They miss Mifsud. Johnny's a mate of his, actually. Yeah, he's, oh, we'll say hello to him for me. Do you still text him? Do you still text Mifsud? Well, not after all the goals he missed. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I just, as we got to let Johnny go. We love having you on. You know, yeah. you're an icon of the game. But yeah. um, oh, that won't stop us, by the way, every time you're on. Uh, playing you singing at the Veneto Club. Um, <laughs> you know, that classic angel of the morning at the age of 17. Oh, this... Please enjoy and please thank uh, John Aloisi. <laughs> Thank you.
much. Fox Sports.